Uh, we're working on self-rescue skills with our watercraft officers from around the state in our swift water rescue training. They're working on defensive swimming, uh, water entries, some aggressive swimming uh, skills, and basically anything if they were to become in the water, how to save themselves if they were in a flooding situation. We practice rescues for other persons, but we also need to be aware and be ready if we happen to enter the water, if we need to save ourselves. So we work on these skills. We work on uh, how we enter water, uh, if we don't know the water depth or unknown hazards in the water. And, you know, and then we also work on if we were to get flushed down river by a flood or some event, that we can save ourselves and get to shore. Um, about 28 uh, cadets uh, are out here just going through the training. They've been going at it this whole week and uh, getting their, their rescue training this week. Flooding in Ohio is one of the number one natural disasters that we have every year. Um, we respond to a, a number of floods throughout the state um, every year and uh, responded to hurricanes Katrina and Ike. So we do a lot of swift water rescue training and we do a lot of boat operation training. We train our officers in boat operation. Um, we have a new boat program with NASBLA that we train our officers on um, how to operate boats. We have close quarter boat control where we learn how to operate boats at a very slow speed. We train them on canoeing sailing PwC so they know the operation of these uh, vessels so when they come in contact with them in the field uh, with the operators that are operating them they know how to stop them and how they uh, operate. So we practice a lot of that so we can you know, go in and rescue people when there's emergencies around our state or if we're called upon uh, across this country.